my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In yesterday's video we made our way into the city of Kirkwall finally. We met a couple of dwarves and now we have to figure out how to raise money to join their little expedition into the deep roads to get more money or something along those lines. But anyway, I do have several quests in my journal. The one that I think I want to at least attempt to work on today is a friend in the guard. And this says Aveline may have information about working with the city guard. Talk to her at the barracks in the Viscount's Keep. And when I looked at the map, the Viscount's Keep is right down here. And my, it becomes a larger arrow if you make it active, I think. But Maybe I'm just making it up. Anyway, uh, but I thought today we could explore Hightown, pick up some more quests apparently, and maybe go see Aveline. Plus talk to everybody and do everything and all that good stuff. So let's get started. <laughs> we have robes by Jean-Luc and Corval's blades. No loitering. Okay. Olaf's armory, Hubert's fine goods. Well, let's see what these shops look like. The finest clothing from here to Antiva. That's great. Well, I did look in everybody's store, and except for Hubert's, but I did look at everyone's store, and everything's really expensive right now, and I have like no money, so I'm gonna have to come back and go shopping. But I can talk to Hubert, so let's talk to him. Another Ferelden Street rat. Are you here to waste my time, or do you actually have coin to spend? Uh, well, I'm totally here to waste your time. Actually, my coin and I were just leaving. <laughs> hey, I'm having a bad week. There are few Ferelden's of means in Kirkwall. Forgive me. Well, what do you sell? Are you an armorer? A weaponsmith? My stock is varied. What all my wares have in common, however, is quality. Only the best for my distinguished patrons. See for yourself. Well, again, Hubert has really nice stuff, but I can't afford any of it. <laughs> so let's go you here. You seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother, Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey. You want mine? I got a spare. Um, I don't think we want your brother. We'd rather just have Carver. But let's talk to Worthy. Hawk, long time no see, my friend. Well, if it isn't Worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> <laughs> I only advertise the truth. You aren't still working for a Thenral, are you? Your year must be up by now. Hmm. Well, yeah, you're awful nosy, aren't you? Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. Okay, crafting. You've unlocked a crafting station from whence you can order items. Give... Oh, okay. That, that happened. Well, what was the quest that popped up? Um, business discussion? What's the quest? Order runes. Um, I don't think it's down here, but, well, let's just click on it. See what, see what happens. You can order runes if you discover the right combination of resources. So if I had lyrium, I could just buy it, but I don't, I can't, I only have 19 silver. I can't buy anything. Okay. Oh, and Codex updated. Crafting. Crafting can make rare, rare, rare and powerful items <laughs> that are not otherwise available. Resources are scattered throughout the world and must be discovered to add to your supply. Recipes cost money and can only be used if you discover the appropriate quantity of resources. Use crafting stations to order unique items. Stations can be found around Kirkwall and in your home. I had to kind of cut and reload, and I did notice that I got an achievement from talking to Worthy. I think it was called like crafting or something. And then I also got an achievement earlier. I think it had something to do with when I leveled up Bethany. I think I clicked like an upgrade and it was an upgrade. Well, I clicked an upgrade and it was an upgrade. Well, there you go. That made tons of sense. But it was some sort of achievement, I think, to do with that. But 
I don't know, we'll see. But what do you two have to say? Anything? Hightown is so grand compared to Lothering. It's hard to think we might have lived here. Yeah, it would have been weird if we grew up here. Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk. There are more cut purses in Hightown than in the rest of the city combined. Okay. It makes sense, though. They'd rob from the rich if they're poor. All right, so we've done that corner. Let's go back over here. And see if there's anyone over here to speak to. An expedition hirelings. A few weeks in the deep roads won't be that bad, right? Uh, the dwarf says the dark spawn are mostly gone. He better be right. Well, let's quick save and talk to Bartrand. Barak, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand. So suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. Yeah, I feel so welcome. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be very sarcastic with Hawk. I feel like a rogue... I don't know. I just feel like it's going to go well together. Ah, there's so much love here. It's very comforting. <laughs> what I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Well, what will I get in return? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. And why do you need so much coin? That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. Okay, well, uh, give me some time. I'm still figuring that part out. And how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Bartrand. Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm like, this is the brother who doesn't like you all that much. And is that, is that Bodan and Sandal? Well, hello there. Bodan, Fedic, purveyor of goods, both <laughs> common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? Yes, I'm, I'm all a tremble. The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> <laughs> a kindred soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. Well, your son is an enchanter? I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The fable dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. <laughs> I like enchantment. <laughs> and he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? Hmm. Well, how did you end up here, Bodan? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true rogues. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. You knew the hero of Ferelden? So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. I hear that the hero is married to the Queen now. <laughs> Fancy that. A Grey Warden ruling Ferelden. <laughs> ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. Hmm. Well, uh, yes, I wish to buy something. Let's see what he has to sell that I can't afford to buy. Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. I do like that I don't have to speak to anybody to go shopping now. I can just click on it and 
look at things I can't afford. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to see Bodin and Sandal back in the game. And interesting to see how this all pans out with them, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. And I did get a codex entry called Surfacer Dwarves, but um, it wasn't anything new or pertaining to our current storyline, I don't think, or new characters or whatnot. So I'm going to the Red, the Red Lantern District. <laughs> oh, is that, is this where all the ladies of the night hang out? Because that's kind of funny. The blooming flowers. rose. <laughs> I should get flowers for my hair. No, you really shouldn't. Um, leave area. Well, I don't need to leave the area. And I don't have a reason to go into the blooming rose right now. So maybe we'll come back later. But let's go up here and... I don't like how the mini-map doesn't have pop-ups anymore. So let's pick up the Kirkwall Hightown Codex entry. At the height of the Venture Imperium slave trade, at the height of the Imperium's slave trade, Kirkwall's elite prospered beyond dreams of avarice. Hightown was built for the wealthiest slavers, its glitzy mansions rising atop a great wall of rock that borders on one side the Waking Sea. Lowtown covered on its other side until Kirkwall's slaves rose to plunder and enjoy destroy Hightown's riches. Today, Hightown's prominent buildings are the Keep, home to the ruling Viscount, and the Chantry, home to the Grand Cleric and the city's religious center. Both are converted estates that once housed wealthy magisters, rebuilt and converted after the uprisings. So we have... Well, that connects back to where the dwarves were, right? Anything else over here? All right, well, let's head up. I'm guessing this is to the, yeah, the Viscount's Keep. Whoa, don't want to be Bethany. What's in here? What's in here? More stuff I can sell for money. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. No, nothing. Pretty grandiose for sure. I'm spinning around in circles, but I'm just. Of course, they're going to attack. Everyone knows it. If the Kunari conquer the Free Marches, they will have access to the southern border of the Tavinta Imperium. They'd launch a double pronged attack from both north and south. That would take forever. I don't think the Kunari are much concerned with how long things take. Hmm. As I was saying, I'm sitting around in circles, but I'm just sort of making sure I don't miss anything and also taking in the view of everything. It's really... I mean, look at that. That's grand and amazing. Anyway, Viscount's Keep. Let's quick save in case this game crashes a lot, too. Let's see. Gather your party. And hierarchy of the circle. Definitely have read that Messiah, one before. Please stop kicking the wall. Who are you to talk to me like that, you bloody peasant? The guard who'll throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. <laughs> it would be better if he was actually kicking the wall. That would be great. Let's see. Good day. Sir. Good day. And well, let's go right. Oh yeah, looks like Gavilene's down this way. So big. And you've entered a companion's home base. I can't do that. Okay. Fine day, Sarah. Yes, it is. Kirkwall City Guard. Well, that was just a codex entry on the foundation of the guard. There's Aveline, but I want to go around her first. Was study on the fifth blight, volume one. Well, that was just a summary of the blight up through the end of the Battle of Ostagar, where. Kaylin died and, you know, Edward and Alistair survived. Oop, I can unlock that. Torn trousers? I do it. Huh. Okay, anything else in here? Hmm. Okay, well, let's speak to our friend Aveline.
Aveline! Hello, Hawk. That's it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. Uh, again? <laughs> You're spying on me again? You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. <laughs> Did you eavesdrop anything useful? A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. <laughs> it's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. <laughs> well, would you return to Ferelden? The blight is over. You could go back to Lothering. That wasn't home for me. It was just where the Horde pressed us. It wasn't the first village I saw fall. But you don't get used to people losing everything. Hmm. Yeah. It was sad to leave that way, and I only went back to fight. Hmm. I like the idea that Aaron wasn't living in Lothering, but she was off adventuring before the blight happened. I like that thought. So I only went back for back to fight. I had been away already. I don't know if I'd still call it home. Sometimes the best thing about a place is that it's where you're from. Well, are you happy here? Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. <laughs> oh, I imagine she does, Miss Wesley, so I think that's kind of redundant, but let's ask it anyway. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. Do you miss being a soldier? This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. You and Carver must have felt something similar. I don't know if that's right to say. I barely knew him. No, you're right. Death on that scale certainly has a finality to it. Sometimes I wonder. Uh, okay, well, what's the job that you have for me, Aveline? All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. High women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. Okay. Are you allowed to hire civilians? I'm no guard, Evelyn. There's only so many of us. Temporary recruits are expected time to time, as long as they're competent. You still claim to be competent, right? Oh, ha ha. Who are we up against? Do you have a name or anything else to go on? Not important. If we show up and they attack, they're bad. Simple as that. <laughs> I'll wager it's smugglers, though. Like I said, seems like an obvious trap for a caravan. How did you find out about it? You've been nosing around outside your commission. I have contacts, and they're complaining about a lack of meat. Thugs and such. Someone is hiring. And one or two were told to prepare for travelers. You want to be good at this job? You pay attention to what's missing and when people arrange escape routes. Hmm. Why haven't you told the other guards? Seems like you'd want to share this with your fellow guards. I will, if you sit on your hands. <laughs> I'll send my alerts and someone else will lead a patrol. But there's profit and influence to be had. You're my friend, so I'm offering. Okay, well, I need the money and your friendship, so yeah, I'm with you. All right, Aveline. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, 
but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Hmm. Messer, please stop kicking the wall. All right, Codex updated with Aveline's entry. So Aveline was born in Orlais, but she never knew the country. Interesting. Her father, Benoit Duloc, was a chevalier who lost his patron to the game of intrigue. He fled to Ferelden while Aveline was an infant, and though his holdings were meager, he was determined she would have the life he had lost. She would become a knight no matter the cost. He eventually sold everything to sponsor Aveline into King Caelan's service. Knightly skills seemed bred into Aveline's bones, but she had her doubts, starting with her namesake, Sir Aveline. The first female knight of Orlais was orphaned, mocked for her looks, and murdered when she dared to dared stand with men in tournament. Her glory lies in tragedy, but the living Aveline does revere, doesn't revere sacrifice. A principal death is still death. Her father was proud of her, but she would never be the knight he wished for. Aveline married Wesley Villain while serving in the Ferelden army. They were kindred spirits and determined guardians. His death during the blight scarred her, not just his loss, but that she failed to protect him. Aveline was healed in the past year has healed in the past year, but she has yet to forgive herself. Accordingly, she is fiercely protective of the Hawks and Aaron. They share a bond and loss, a connection that she cherishes, but will not allow to be repeated. And then what was her quest? Oh, companion quest. The way it should be. Take Aveline to find the ambush hiding along the paths of Sundermount. The location of the bandits will only be clear if she is present. Well, that makes sense. That's what she kind of said. Oh, and then I completed a friend in the guard. All right. Okay, well, let's finish exploring the Kirkwall. No, not Kirkwall. The Viscount's How much keep. longer do I have to wait? I assume all these people are waiting for the fancy the Viscount schmancy Viscount. Must be terribly busy. Yeah. I've been waiting most of the day. Bureaucratic stuff that just takes forever. Oh, chantry hierarchy. You're getting mud on my floor. I'm not in your house. Stop judging me. So chantry, the hierarchy codex entry looked very similar to the one that was in Origins. Just gave you the breakdown of who's who. I didn't miss the door. I can't actually open it, can I? No, I can't. Hmm. Messiah, please stop kicking the Must wall. Must be lots of people kicking oh, yeah. walls. <laughs> Alright. Let's go in here. The You are looking well, Sarah. The Marin Accords. Well, that was an interesting codex entry. It talks about the war with the Canari when they invaded like the, the lands here, and you know, basically they signed a peace treaty, except for Tavinter, who's technically, I guess, still at war with them. So that's interesting. That was actually very interesting. Not going to happen. Okay, let's talk to Seneschal Bran. The office of the Viscount is not open to the public, especially recent arrivals not actually part of the public. Ouch. <laughs> it, it, the Enigma of Kirkwall. What is that? Well, maybe, maybe. There we go. So that was an odd codex entry, but whatever. We'll, I'm sure we'll figure it out later. Bottle got. Bottled Scar 534 Exalted. A rare collaboration between human and elven vintners. The result is a taste that has been called appropriately tense, occasionally requested in the Lowtown Bazaar, although elves rarely do so openly. All right. I don't think I can do that. Really? Okay, load myself up, so let's try this again. Nice. So I noticed there's no like lock picking talent like there was before. I think it all has to do with your cunning. So I leveled my up my cunning some and I do hope the Viscount remembers to eat supper today. And now I can unlock that level of chests, I guess, but we'll see how that goes. Good day, Sarah. Good day. Okay, well let's quick save and I wonder is this where I can Yeah, it looks like this is where I can switch my party around. But I don't have anyone else to switch it with. Oh cool. To change maps, select Kirkwall Knight or the Free Marches. So, Kirkwall Knight. And then Free Marches. Sundermount, Sundermount Ambush Site. Okay, so we have Hightown, Chantry, Hangman, Lowtown, 
Black Emporium. And Gamlin's house. I wonder if I have to, like, go to the Chantry before I can unlock a quick travel, but either way, let's just go to Hightown. We have to still finish exploring. Exploring all through there. Probably not going to finish. Oh, Darkness Falls. Well, I wonder what that means. <laughs> Are you really not afraid of apostates? Not even a little? Sunshine, I'm a dwarf. In case you missed that detail. Dwarves aren't completely immune to magic, you know. No, no, no. I meant there are at least 30 people in this town who'd murder my family over trade deals. <laughs> Who has time to worry about apostates with a merchant's guild breathing down your neck? In that case, I see. Oh, I like my sister. I don't know why. Did you hear what Lord Barry said? It's pointless talk. Things will never change. Hmm. Okay, so we did... Looks like this half. So let's make our way over here. It looks like... Yeah, there's the Chantry and there's another Sebastian quest over there to pick up. So let's head over that way and then... Well, and then we'll probably be done, actually. <laughs> if I even get through it today. Have you seen a dog? Small, with a blue bow about her neck. No, I haven't. Grand Cleric Elfina. Oh, a chanter's board. Enchanter something. Sebastian, stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. Hmm. Well, he's a little... a little upset. But his family was murdered, so I would expect that to be the case. Okay, um... Chanter Tal Talitha? Talitha? And Andraste did say, those who harm a house of the Maker have done harm unto the Maker himself. <clears throat> <laughs> what? Oh, I miss the other two from, what was it, Denerim? They were, they were the best people, churchy people. Anyway, Chanter's board. Duty. A grave crime was committed against all free-thinking men, women, men and women in the Free Marches. The ruling Vale family in Starkhaven, my family, was brutally murdered down to the youngest babe in arms. Oh my gosh. This massacre was carried out by members of the Flint Mercenary Company. I hereby offer a bounty on the head of each Flint Company soldier in the Kirkwall vicinity. Prince Sebastian Vale. Oh, that must have been who we just... So, the Exiled Prince. Oh, this must be one of the DLCs. Okay. But, well, I'll worry about it later. I'm not, it's not like we're not going to have plenty of time to do all these. The but Chantry, not the symbol it could be. Well, maybe it'll be different here. Although you've been here just as long as Aaron, just not as long as me. Oh, there's a chest over here. I gotta remember I can use my quick buttons now to open stuff. It doesn't seem to work on everything though. Like, I can't use it to interact here, but let's again, quick save and go into the Chantry. A Ferelden in the guard. What will they think of next? You have a problem with that. Me? My family's not native either. I'm just surprised. A lot of old prejudice in the guard. I'll give them plenty of reason to change their minds. You know, it's possible they're just scared shitless of you. That's my theory anyway. <laughs> I mean, Aveline is a little intimidating. But the Commandments of the Maker. I know I've read that one before. And nothing. Well, we are... Wow, that is... That is pretty... Everything's so grandiose here. I really love it. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. 
Sister Alima told me I should keep my head up more often. Yeah, probably. But that's okay. Anyway, as I was saying, this is where I am going to end things for today. Tomorrow we'll keep exploring Kirkwall. We'll finish Hightown and then... I don't know which section we'll go to next, but I'll figure it out then. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age 2 video.